Do you know this was coming, this this announcement, this story? Um, I, morning, James. I, I think there's always been a suspicion that, um, you know, a priority of the government would be to remove the tower. Um, I think it's a, it's a reminder to the community, to the wider public of the uh, atrocity that happened on the 14th of June 2017. Myself, if I had my own way, yes. and as Rachel mentioned in your introduction, I, I would remove the shroud. I would have the building left, the carcass, the, the frightening, scary carcass that it is, as a testament to um, the crimes perpetrated against the community um, until some justice and until some change comes about. I'm aware that that is a very radical view and it's not one held by everyone. And you can speak to a, a fellow survivor who will say, I, I can't walk past the tower. It needs to come down. Yes. And so so for me, the, the, the discussion at the moment is, is less about whether the tower stays up or comes down. I, I think we would we would almost acknowledge there is probably in the community a consensus that at some time, the tower will need to come down. Yes. The problem for, for us at the moment is that we hear about the decisions about the tower through national newspapers, through social media. The people who should be at the heart of this discussion, the bereaved, the survivors, the local community have been excluded. And that is what's causing so much anger and sadness. Um, yeah, and, 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 and that's the heart of what, what the you issue were, is. You were promised that there would be full consultation. The bereaved and, and survivors would be fully consulted by government. I, I saw a, a spokesman for Gren Grenfell United saying yesterday that the fewer than 10 of the bereaved and survivors have been spoken to to date. Is that, does that tally with your understanding of the situation? That's, that tallies completely with my understanding. And, you know, I would point out that prior to the fire we had things done to us rather than with us and exactly the same things happening four years after the fire they are doing things to us rather than with us yes. it's not as you as you highlighted it's a very very sensitive subject it, it, it is it's a graveyard for 72 souls and and the bereaved need to be at the heart of any discussion about what happens to the site <laughs> Um, Why aren't they? I don't know. You're just speculating now, but I'd love to know your thoughts. Do you know, I, I, I mean, I'd start off by saying incompetence and indifference on okay. the part of government. If it's anything more sinister, I, I don't know. I mm. mean, the government have proved themselves to be incompetent and indifferent to our plight. The fact that we're sitting here today talking about the future of the tower when it really should be a conversation going on between a small group of bereaved survivors, the local community representatives and the government not being aired on national radio yes. is testament to how poorly this um, subject has been handled. Do you, th I, actually, I, this is a, a bit unfair to hijack you with this question. It's a bit self-serving, but I think you'll indulge me on this one occasion. Do you, do you think we shouldn't be doing phone-ins on it? It does. Uh, no, when you phrase it like, like that, I'm happy to talk to you, and I'm going to talk to Shah shortly, who who who, who rang me uh, really uh, at the time. And but other than that, who who else's opinion matters, really? So it, the trouble with with uh, without dissecting things too much, the trouble oh, yes. with with this subject is it is very nuanced. It, of course, it, it is. Everyone has, a, as you pointed out, everyone has a different entirely legitimate different view of what should happen with the tower yes I, I think what can't be disputed is the concerns around lack of consultation yes. and you know we, we we need you know i think right at the moment we're trying to ascertain from the government exactly who they spoke to and, and at what time and and how they approach them because you know i've yeah. never received a letter about the future of the tower and i'm a committee member of grenfell united yes. uh, it, it, it it defies belief